many people don't have enough vitamin D in their bodies. A low vitamin D level can cause bone disease, rickets in children, and osteomalacia and bone pain in adults. And it turns out that low vitamin D can increase a person's risk for many common diseases. An adequate vitamin D level lowers a person's risk of type 2 diabetes. Adequate vitamin D levels may help lower blood pressure and help the immune system to function well. An adequate vitamin D level is associated with better muscle strength and a lower risk of falls. And there's evidence that having adequate vitamin D levels lowers a person's risk of colon cancer, breast cancer, and prostate cancer. There aren't many foods that are a naturally good source of vitamin D. There are foods that have been fortified with vitamin D, milk, orange juice, cottage cheese, and fortified cereals, for example. Our bodies can make vitamin D if our skin is exposed to sunlight, but most of us don't get enough sunlight to make adequate vitamin D for our bodies. And the terminology of vitamin D levels and metabolism can be quite confusing. You'll hear doctors talk about vitamin D2, vitamin D3, use words like cholecalciferol, ergocalciferol, and even more confusing words like 25-hydroxyvitamin D and dihydro-125 uh, vitamin D. Uh, for those who would like to know the details of vitamin D actions and metabolism and who'd like to evaluate the evidence for vitamin D's preventive effects, I've included a citation for a New England Journal of Medicine article on the end title, and the article can be ordered on the internet. The details of vitamin D metabolism and its actions are fascinating, but you don't have to know them to benefit from vitamin D therapy. The current recommendations for vitamin D supplementation are too low, most experts agree. Most people should take a daily dose of 800 to 1,000 units of vitamin D3. But you shouldn't take more than that without a doctor's recommendation because too much vitamin D could cause problems. But too much vitamin D in the body is very rare. You can find out your vitamin D level by ordering an online test for vitamin D. The test to order is a 25-hydroxy vitamin D level and it costs about $50. The optimal range for 25-hydroxy vitamin D blood level is 30 to 60 nanograms per milliliter. But you don't really need the blood test. All you really need to do is to take uh, the 1,000 units of vitamin D3 every day. You may feel better. You will lower your risk of cancer, improve your immune system, improve your muscle strength, and lower your risk of falls. That's it for today. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.